Hello everyone, this is Petey from Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.com and here we are again with another tutorial for our little hack and slash series. Uh, now this one here is just going to be a little bit of a quick update because I did update to 3.5 developer preview for Unity. So let's go ahead and open that up. And there was a few issues I had. Uh, when I when it converted over my scene, of course, make sure before you actually go ahead and update, make a backup of your old project. Uh, but when I updated, a few of my scripts became unattached from their game objects. So when you try to run it, you get that missing mono behavior message, which is pretty easy to fix. Uh, if you're having trouble figuring out what scripts get attached to what, just watch the old 243 series and that'll get you caught up pretty much all the way. Uh, but there was one thing that I noticed that isn't covered in that series that you might have a little bit of trouble with. And I just wanted to cover that right now. If we went ahead and started the game up, all of the items that were spawning in game. So let's just go ahead and open up a chest. And let me see, we got a shield, we got a hat, we got a weapon. Perfect, we got one of everything. Let's go ahead and open up our inventory. I'm just going to move this over here. Uh, we equip the shield, and there's no texture to it. The weapon, again, no texture. And we'll throw a hat on, and again, no texture. None of our items actually have textures anymore. And Unity seems to have moved at least where it wants those uh, materials and textures kept. And let's go ahead and take a look at that. So as I use items, I move them down to my resources folder. So let's go down, we'll go into the items folder. And this is where I was keeping everything in materials. So I kept my texture and my material in here for everything. And let's go ahead, we'll shrink this down and let's go ahead and open up meshes and weapon. And we'll just open up uh, melee. And if we click on the ax, uh, we'll notice there's no material attached to it. And if we scroll down, we'll notice that the material that it's looking for, I'm not sure if we can select it from here. Well, anyway, it's the axe material. It went ahead and created a new folder for us with all of uh, the materials that have no textures whatsoever in them. Okay, well, this one kind of does. That's the broken sword. Let me see if I can actually find that. Or weak sword, that's it. So it's using the texture. Uh, it's actually using the material material weak sword. But there's nothing in it. So let me come up here again. Let me just take a look. Okay, I'm not sure what I was looking at there. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong one, I think. Uh, well, anyway, we've got to sort this out because we got two sets of materials and neither one of them being used. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick with the way Unity is doing right now and keeping all of my materials in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just rename this. I'm just going to throw a dash one in there and I'm actually going to go ahead and take this folder and just drag it right in. And then I want to open it up and I'm just going to start going over for the actual items I'm using and I moved it in here just so it's closer. Uh, so let's open this up. We need axe. And I'm actually going to be renaming some of these. So if we go ahead and actually look at Axe. It's using the Axe material. And if we look here, it says Axe 01. If we actually open up, we'll see that the mesh is Axe 02. Now this is just basically, depending how you named your your meshes. Uh, since I'm using the Fro Game Proto Pack, uh, they had a specific way that they were naming everything. So I'm going to stick to uh, the way they did it. And well, there's a couple ways I can do it. I can either just drag and drop this material on there and everything's done, or I can go ahead and use uh, the new material that it created. And I'm kind of torn between it because I, I, I want to just use the material that I've already have for it, but I'm not sure if uh, on subsequent builds, maybe later on when another update comes out, it's going to go ahead and make another material for me. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Let's just go ahead and actually use the materials that I already have defined. So I'm going to come in. Uh, reset won't do it. I'm not actually sure if I can change the material in this mode. Let's see. Now, actually, to be honest, I don't think I can. Uh, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and get rid of this. And this is actually Axe 2. So I'm actually going to get rid of the Axe 2 material. And drag this Axe 2 texture. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep it in this folder. I'm going to rename it to textures. Not, can't type today. 
Now that does separate it, but that's fine. So we'll shrink this down, open it up. Make sure this is exposed. We don't want it like that. Uh, that's another thing too. Some of the uh, shaders are different on our items. Uh, let me see, is that still in my trash can? I may want to bring this back. It is, so I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this back in here. Uh, let me see, Axe 2 material. So it has a specular and here we go. So you'll want to make sure you copy those settings over as well, uh, which is fine. So I did actually go ahead and change the name here. So I'll change it back. And once I've done one, you'll pretty much understand exactly how the rest goes. So this is specular. This one had a bit of a light blue and I guess the best way to get that color would be to come down to Axe 2, select it. I'm just gonna go ahead, drag this down here. Now, if you're on Windows, uh, you probably won't have this option. Uh, not sure what to tell you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, select this one. There we go, I know all of them have this default gray. So now when I come up here to the Axe, I can go ahead, just select this. We want this color of gray. You may have to actually go ahead and get the color code for it. Uh, from your sliders. Let me see, we have sliders here somewhere. These are the sliders. Here we go. Uh, but anyway, that's done, and we also need the material. So let's go ahead, we'll drag the Axe 2 one up. There we go, and as I finish, I'm actually gonna go ahead and remove the material from here. Now, this one should be fine. So if we come up and actually look at the Axe now, yay! And that should spawn fine in game. Of course, the actual odds of that item of us getting one of those. And I don't think that was it. Yeah. Uh, let's just take a quick look. Maybe I'll get lucky and we'll hit one, but I don't think so. Uh, maybe. Nope. Oh, there we go. Yay. <laughs> so there we go. We actually do have it uh, matching up. That's actually our Sliffy, isn't it? Uh, I guess not. Uh, shrink this down. Uh, yes, it is. So I'm actually going to have to go through some of my items here and decide what's what. Because my Axe Mesh seems to be the exact same as my Sliffy. And we can go ahead, that's Axe 2. Oh, this is Axe 3. Um, so it's using the material Sliffy. So maybe not all of them did get screwed up. Uh, it might just be a few. So we'll come down. And sure enough, that one is attached. And it's using this material, which is great since that's working. Uh, let me check out the uh, that covered over that copied over right. Let me select this again. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just delete this one because it looks like it's done. Uh, but we still have a ton to do, and this one seems to work. I uh, might be missing the illumination. Uh, but anyway, as you see, this is, it's not hard. It's just kind of tedious on how to, how you have to do it. So let's do the next one, the Bastard Sword, which I'm calling this one here. It's a two-handed sword, and this is my mesh name, so I know what the other material is going to be called. Uh, so it's the Sword 2H01. Whoops. So we come down here, it's going to be under the S's, and sword 2H01 right here. So again, I'm just going to go in and copy the colors. So we'll just click there, and whoops, let's copy this down, and we'll click on the gray. Copy that down, and we have this material here. 
Uh, we'll come back up. Switch it over to Specular, I believe it was. Um, yeah, we'll just check to make sure. Now, there might be a fast way to do this. I'm just not sure. It would be great to be able to just drag this material back onto it. Now, if we had prefabs made up of it, we probably could do it that way. But I, I'm not using a, a pre. I'm not using a pre-made prefab for it. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's actually going to rename them again on me. So I'll just do it this way. Just get it all done. Okay. But anyway, we're using a specular. So I'm just going to come up here. Uh, specular. We'll go ahead. We'll copy the colors over. Uh, shininess I'm not playing around with because you know I might decide to change it later on anyway and I do need the material oh sorry the texture <laughs> uh, got to find that one well here let's click there here it is right up here so wait a minute that the so it's using the same material, it's just stretched out over a bigger mesh, which is fine. So we'll select that, scroll back down. And sword. I'm already forgetting, I think it was this one. Let's go see if it looks right. And we'll come up here. There we go. Anyway, you should be able to go ahead and fix the rest of them. Uh, following the exact same method I've used here. Uh, it's going to take me a while to probably get through all of them. At least all the ones that I'm currently using. As you can see, there's actually quite a few items that I actually have in game right now. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fix all these up before we continue on with our animation tutorials. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see everyone later. Bye-bye.